going to Shards. Hi, I'm Little Chris and you're on Sugar Skate. So, what was the best person you've interviewed for your um, new programme on T4? Everyone loves Little Chris. Was it you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the best person I interviewed, I don't really want to single them out because they were equally as nice as each other. But um, yeah, Jack Osborne was cool. We had him on, I had King Kong, which was amazing. Uh, we had people, oh, all sorts of people, Casey Elephant play, Script play, Feeling played, Saturdays played, they were nice, Sugar Babes came on. Uh, Jack Osborne, I said Jack Osborne, then I yeah. yeah, tons of people. George Sampson came on, Bass Hunter, hundreds of people, hundreds, just full. So who was your favourite Saturday? My favourite Saturday? I don't know. I don't know, really. I can't really remember. I can't really remember all their names. But Probably all of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and what do you look for in a girlfriend? What qualities? Qualities so I look for in a girlfriend. No. They've got a lot. Of, they've got a lot of games. They've got a lot of games, computer games, and. Uh, got like the same sort of music as me and they've got to be nice and talk to, yeah. What kind of music are you into? Uh, anything really, uh, all, all sorts of, anything that sounds good and like anything that's not too cool. I can't stand cool music, it doesn't matter. Is there anything you really hate? Yeah, it's like bands who think they're really cool and like wore, wear stuff that looks like they just walked out of Oxfam. Is there anyone in particular? Um, uh, I wouldn't like to name that actually. Right. Um, and what what would be your top five most played songs on your iPod of all time then? Oh my word. These are uh, these questions. This is a killer. <laughs> Whoa how can you ask something like that? It's evil. <laughs> would you have like three top songs that of of all time? <laughs> oh man, I don't even know. I can't even remember. <laughs> Don't know. Um, and who was the worst person you had to interview um, on your show? Well, there wasn't a worst person that I had to interview. It was like there was like awkward people. Yeah. Like the new kids on the block were quite. Yeah. Sort of. I think they were tired. They were jet lagged and stuff, and they were just a bit. You know, yeah. they have probably done it so many times. I don't know why they got back together. <laughs> they really don't want to do it that much. Yeah. But, you know, they didn't seem very interested. But towards the end, they did warm up into it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so your new album's out now, what's it all about? What it's is it all about then? <laughs> what's it, where did you get your inspiration from for it? Um, I don't know, it's just sort of, it's just anger. Because I'm quite an angry person really. I'm just like, quite frustrated person. I, I get easily, I get easily like, angered. Especially like, when I play like, games and stuff, I get really, really angry. If I don't pick up things straight away, I get really angry. And I think it was just something it was just a lot like that, and it's just really, like, sort of, not anti-parents, but just sort of, like, just sort of, like, a bit, bit of rebellion. Yeah. A bit punky, like, yeah. So is it, like, a punky sound, or is it more pop yeah. or rock? No, or? it's much more punky, this one. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot of punky. Cool. A lot heavier. Um, and who's your shouldn't but would? I don't know. In what sense? Like, <laughs> who, who would you snog that you shouldn't really? Oh, who would I do this song that I shouldn't really? Oh god, there's so many. Why shouldn't you? How old is Pamela Anderson? 41. See, Pamela Anderson's 41. And I'm 18. Yeah. I shouldn't tell it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks very much. Can um, you get get questions about Yeah, she talk about yeah. the game a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to tell us um, what your inspiration was behind your level? It looks very electric and quite dark. Yeah, my level was sort of like the, the way I got into it was to just um, was to just go through all the settings and see what I liked. And it just started off with choosing the set. And then uh, I chose my little man, all electric. Electric blue, it's electric good there. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just completely done by all everything's glass and icy and cold. This is coming up to winter now, and it all does seem a bit like that. All these eyes watching it, yeah. So uh, it's not it's not got any real deep meaning, but it's um, 
yourself getting into Little Big Planet like if you're going on tour or playing on the tour bus? Oh yeah, it's something that you can like, it's, it's a game you, you just sort of play for long, you can see as a player for a long time and get stuck in for two or four hours. Like even now I'm really, I'm not even concentrating anymore. <laughs> I just sort of zoned out then and forgot I was even doing anything. Then get away. <laughs> Cool. Thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah.